sounds sleepy. I'll try to wake it up. Oh, it's all right. It's all good. <clears throat> Hey, Can I say where we are? Is it cool? Do you from have a, limitations? No. From a photo perspective, can you just scoot in just a little bit? I, I should make this look. But no, she's not going to be comfortable. No, I will. I'll okay. scoot this towards you. Photos of the... Now it looks creepy. Yeah, now it looks creepy. Hi, Jimmy. <laughs> okay, I didn't mean that far in, but... All right, move are back, you comfortable? Christy. Yeah, I'm comfortable. Get comfortable. Okay. Move it back. I just want to be able to move all these cords. I hate cords in pictures. They look terrible. Put a pillow over it. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> I need to be able to see love. I, I can't even tell. I promise. Okay. okay. I always look like I'm. I always look like I'm at your do you're at the doctor's office, and I'm like, how are you feeling yes, today, Mr. Barno? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna just take some notes here, and I'll pass it along to the doctor. Thank you very much. Okay. I think you're pretty. You're pretty mic savvy, unlike the girls I had to do yesterday. Oh my god. Hey, that did turn out pretty well, though. Did it really? Honest. Okay. Yeah, they were pretty cool. Now, oh my gosh. Hold on a second. So that card protected me. That's never happened before. Do you do. So all of your recordings, you're in your studio. Uh -huh. You don't have to kind of bring all of this anywhere. Only when we do a live show. What does uh, card protected mean? This has never happened. I don't have a clue. Shit. Uh oh. Do you have a backup? I don't know if I have another SD card. Yeah. Do you do anything on Patreon? No, we do a different subscriber uh, platform. What do you use? Just out of curiosity. It's our own. Oh, it's your own. own thing, That's yeah. awesome. Okay, we're, he's That's been, great. he's like one of the first podcasters ever. How long have you been doing this? 12 years? 12 years. 12 years. Yeah. So when you first started, it was this, you, oh, there was no information. Was. Yeah, we just, That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. No one knew. Yeah, we wow. started it. Wow. So you've zero. seen I an incredible. Want, can we talk about that? Sure. Yeah, yeah that's amazing. Really I really kind of wanted to talk about that's that. So that's so fascinating. That's a lot of work to start something uh, from ground. I mean, you were essentially a startup company. Yeah. Wow. We're good. Yeah. Exactly. Amazing. Okay, ready? But if Patreon was around before, we we probably would have gone the Patreon route because it's just the easiest, simplest. Of course. Thing to do. Yeah. yeah. But that's awesome that you have your own. Okay. Okay, we're rolling. Here we go. Three, two. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Christy Lee Uninterrupted. I am your host, Christy Lee. I am very fortunate to be sitting in the hotel room of one Jimmy Pardo. Boy, that sounds nice and sultry, doesn't it? Um, but we actually have a nice sitting area, and we are cozy and comfortable on the couch. We're going to talk about Jimmy Pardo, comedian. How are you? I'm doing okay. It's uh, I, I, As a guy who is uh, uh, nuts and out of my mind, it's weird to have somebody in my... Uh, Space. I know. I appreciate you allowing um, me in. I know how hard it is. I want you to acknowledge to your listeners, though, that when you came in uh, to my uh, hotel room, yes. uh, I wasn't expecting company. No, you were not. Very clean. Very clean. Very clean. Very right? Clean. Is that something very warm, in? very clean. It was yes. very nice. Way too warm. It, that's my uh, my L.A. blood is I, uh, I freeze if it hits like 60. So my hotel room, I have to keep like at 80. And I acknowledge that uh, it's ridiculously swampy warm in here, and I apologize. No, that's okay. I didn't really think it was that warm. It was horrible. I thought it was fine. Horrible. I'm disgusted by it. And again, I wasn't expecting coffee. Well, and I apologize, and I'm thankful that you let us in. We had a little mix-up. It was my okay. fault. I, it's I not apologize. your fault. I don't again. care at all. I'm glad that you're here. <laughs> and I allow, and I'm, I'm glad you allow us into your nuttiness because you are one of the funniest, if not the funniest, man on the planet. Oh, Jesus! Uh, you are just so talented, Jim. Ah, you know that. thank you. Thank you for calling me Jim. Uh, <laughs> well, you deserve you. gym now. I think you've outgrown the gymmy a little bit. You know, I had an argument with my manager about this about 12 years ago. Did you? And his example was Johnny Carson, and I can't argue that. You know what I mean? It's like, I was like, I think I'm too old. I think, I think Jimmy is, I think I've outgrown Jimmy. He's like, well, are you going to change it? He goes, what about Johnny Carson? And I was like, all right, I can't, I'll yeah, stick with it. And, good point. Now that you've established yourself. Yeah. And, um, we are doing a podcast, and I obviously am very new to the podcasting business. I'm mm -hmm. on my second year, very proud of that. Um, and it's been a tough go. I have to admit, some days it's people think this is really easy. It's really kind of a hard. It's a business. Yes. But the reason I bring that up is because you started this twelve years ago yeah. when no one was podcasting. Right. May I ask why? 
why I started it 12 yes. years ago? You know what? I was, uh, uh, the, I, I, the, the show busy way to put it is I was between uh, TV jobs. Mm -hmm. And I was, you know, I was doing a live uh, talk show at the UCB Theater in L.A. I was doing a, uh, a show called Running Your Trap with Jimmy Pardo. I think that's what it was called at the time. I forget. I like it. And um, uh, there was a, a fan of mine by the name of Matt Belknap who was running a alternative comedy website called thespecialthing.com where fans of quote-unquote alternative comedy, you know, Paula Tompkins, David Cross, Bob Odenkirk, Pat Oswalt, uh, sure. that, that type of act, and me, luckily, was part of it, and Scott Ackerman and some other folks, uh, fans liked our style of comedy, and Matt would come to all of the shows around L.A., and he would be—he became—he and his wife became a regular regular audience members of my talk show at the UCB. Matt then started doing a podcast, um, which was a very dry interview, uh, but dry in a positive way, mm -hmm. uh, to talk about the the nuts and bolts of comedy. And he came to interview me for it. And when his co-host left and and whatnot, uh, he kind of dragged his heels a little bit and said to me, "You know, I think I'd have more fun producing a podcast for you." than doing my own podcast. Uh, would you be interested in doing a podcast? And admittedly, I've always been a guy who's way behind the times. I was the last guy on Twitter. I was the last guy on Facebook. I was the last guy on MySpace. And I, I didn't know what I was saying yes to, but I said, yeah, let's do it. Okay. And we started it at my dining room table. Um, it was me and Matt was my producer, and a guy named Mike Schmidt, who was my first guest, who ended up then being my co-host for the first uh, 59 episodes, and then it was time for Mike to branch out and do his own thing, and uh, and he's got his own wonderful podcast now called The 40-Year-Old Boy, and um, Matt and I have been together ever since, And but when we first, so that's why it started, Okay. and when we first started, it, it was the Wild West podcasting, nobody knew what we were doing, nobody, we had a very small audience, but they were a loyal audience. Um, were you just putting it up on the internet, were, were there venues for it? It was Apple, you know, it was, it was through, still at iTunes. It was still at yeah, iTunes. Okay. And, and the neat part about that was there was a guy there by the name of Scott Simpson who used to mm -hmm. work at, at, at Apple. Uh, he said, he's now a stand-up comedian, oddly enough, and he's very funny. Um, he took a liking to us because I decided, and this comes from my love of, you know, I grew up loving Steve Dahl and Gary Meyer. The, those were my sure. heroes growing up. 